Cameron Young and Jordan Spieth paired together for the third round. I just love the way that Cameron Young gathers the club to the top of the swing. Cameron Young back at the first. Yeah, and uh, even with the wedges, you know, there's still that gathering. Very nice. Nine and a half feet right underneath the hole. Easy putt. Pretty much the same putt Speech just had for his par. So Young is off and running. Nice. Didn't leave anything behind, did he? Yeah, that had some serious ball speed right there. There we go. Just 19 yards away from the hole here after unleashing a big drive at the second. And the touch to follow from Cameron Young. So that's going to be birdies at the opening two today. Pick up his first birdie of the morning. Just a tap in there for Cameron Young. So he gets it to four under quickly. Yeah, back to back. Cameron Young less than driver to pop on this hole. Just taken three wood and fairway finder. Cameron Young surprised. also I just... has that mini driver, Robert, that he can pull out when he wants to. Cameron Young is off to a hot start, really hot. Here he was at the third, hitting his second. Hang on a second, Manny. Good, yeah, 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 look at that. Jars it, that was fast. What's harder than hot? Uh, my question, my Canadian question is, if Nick Taylor and Mike Weir ran against each other for prime minister, who wins? They're both immensely popular. Neither of them pay for dinner in Canada ever. As Cameron Young's going to get a bounce, it is uh, 139 yards on this 473 par 4. Oh boy, is he dialed in right now. That was right at the flag as well. You could see the eyes kind of going up and down, chasing it. To keep the red hot start rolling. Is it going to? Gonna got enough? How about this start for Cameron Young? Five under par now through the first four holes. This guy hasn't missed. Cameron Young, five under through his first four holes yeah, and then you step up here and hit a shot like this left of the green and Cameron Young has missed his first screen of the day mm, it's not all bad right there underneath the hole so Cameron Young for par to keep some of that early momentum Yep, nicely done there. So, poor tee shot. And that is so soft. lost so soft. well to the right. There's some pretty thick rough over there. It's all going to be on lie and any kind of trouble he's got with trees. There's a couple trees over there as well. Tee shot was into the right rough for Cameron Young, so his third shot coming in. At the par five, sixth. Yeah, tried to reach back and get a little bit extra on that tee shot. Missed it to the right and. Just an iron in hand from 283 yards and that is setting up well for a two putt birdie or stuff that you don't like works out, doesn't work out, but let your emotions get the best of you, just not not working out. You, you, oh, slow down. Stop, ball. Oh, man, Cam Young, it was within a foot of being down to where Jordan's was. Almost putted it off the green. Okay, he gets it down. So a couple good saves in a row, five and six. Got to avoid left. He is over-avoided left. Yeah, that 
That is a big splash, Robert. hear it on your screen. You could hear them talk about it. Caught part of the lip. Oh, wonderful. He's taken care of business when he's been in these situations. at the top, ropes it in there right to left. Into cozy distance, another birdie for Cameron Young at the eight. He's capitalized on, made some couple good up and downs and good par saves, but mostly birdie putts. Pulled it and has killed it. Cameron Young has made it look easy today, hasn't Ooh, he? He really has. I have never seen a start like that here at TPC River Highlands that, like he had today. 3-3-2. Three, three, not just the long game, not just the irons. The putter was working as well. Huge bender from left to right. And Cameron Young. Really aggressive swing. Needs a little hop left. Just a little. Okay. Nine putts on the Opening nine, goes through that little low area right there. Keep going. I want to keep all of those and maybe even pick up a few more. He has been so steady. 11. Well, that's, a, that's a really good line there, Swanee. Mm -hmm. I mean, just directly. Young for a two at 11. Hmm. No, well, we only had 11 putts through the opening 10 holes. Got to take care of the 12. Great shot. Let's go, George. I went in 2011. Oh, it hasn't hit it too far, though. Hmm. Gonna climb up top. <clears throat> yeah. You know, this putt for Young. It's gonna move a pretty good bit to the left, Swanee. Up the hill. Good touch. Very good lag. So all par since the turn after 28. He does not do that often. And that is right down that line. Ooh, oh, wow. Big shot here, Swanee. Ooh, that was a solid strike. Got a very good line. Cameron Young for an eagle here at 13. All about pace here, Swanee. Just let gravity take over, and how about this? Oh, did he do it? How about that lag putt? Really nice lag putt back at 12. But a tap in birdie.
And the 14th hole is where we find Cam Young. Nice aggressive line up the left center should be absolutely perfect. He's missed only two fair or greens rather today, which is what has put him. You know, the par five, she, I mean, you just have to clip them. To go to nine under for the day. Ooh, that was a fooler. Okay, he, he made one. Another birdie at 13, and then here he was on the tee at the dramatic short par 4 15. Oh, just kidding. Water all, the right all down now. the left. Need right a couple of bounces up on the soft course, and he gets it to just about four feet. That'll be for another eagle from four feet two inches. Second eagle of the day. 10 under for his round with three holes to play. And remember, TPC River Highlands, par 3 16. All the momentum gathered the first 15 holes. The crowd knows what's on the line here. And look what Cameron Young does. He steps it again to about seven feet. Certainly is, Steve. Can he get it to 11 under? <laughs> a bit of a tentative stroke there. Such a good tee shot too, Steve, to, for Gore to attack that back right flag. Cameron Young made his way. He's got iron out here. Aaron Overholz is going to be with him. Just trying to bleed it back into a right to left wind. And this looks really good, Kurt. Yeah. Great start to this hole. That's why he hit the iron off the tee. It's an elevated tee up there. Ball carries a long way. He's in great shape here for his approach shot. It's on the upper tier. In control, and he's going to have another great look to get it 11 under par for the day. Well, the game is now on. Remember, it's a par 70 here at TPC River Highlands. That's Cameron Young on the tee at the 18th. Target right now. 13 less than that. This has got to travel. Well, now his short game will be on display to try to go sub 60 here. Savor the moment, Cameron. You've just recorded the 13th sub-60 round in the history of the PGA Tour. What a fabulous round of golf that was. Cameron, congratulations. What a round. A new career low for you, a 59. And as Steve just said, a 13th player in the tour history to break 60. How do you even begin to describe the elite round we just witnessed? Yeah, it was, it was good from the start. Um, I can't say I was expecting it. I've been playing better than my results have shown, but um, waking up this morning, I wasn't really thinking I'm going to be five under through four and then kind of keep going. So, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun to do, uh, and I feel like I really controlled my mind well all day. You buried the first couple of holes, and mm -hmm. then you go out on the third, yeah. and you hole out by, from 142 yards on that hole. How much in that moment were you thinking to yourself, okay, this is going to be a pretty good day today? Uh, honestly, not at all. I kind of was just thankful for the start. Yeah. Um, whenever something like that goes in, kind of like just, it kind of just almost settled me a little bit, honestly. It was one of those like, that looked really good. And I'm recently, those have been ending up 12 feet and I've been missing. So um, to see one disappear was a lot of fun. And then um, from that point on, it's just, you know, just try to keep playing solidly. And that's what I did. 
seven career runner up finishes. Yeah. I know there's still a lot of golf to be played yet sure. here today, but going into tomorrow, what kind of mindset are you trying to come into that round, final round with as you look to change that script? I think very much the same way that I've looked at the last bunch of rounds. I mean, I've uh, I've had some mediocre results lately, but I feel like the golf I've played has been been better than that. And to have a day like like today where things start going in and it feels like I'm rewarded for good shots, um, you know, it leaves me with a good taste in my mouth going into tomorrow. I'm excited to go play and um, I, I feel like I'm hitting it pretty well. So we'll see what happens. Certainly, you grew up just a couple hours from here, yeah. right? So how much extra special does that make this yeah. uh, great score today to do it so close to home? Yeah, no, it's one of the only only events really up here in the Northeast. Um, I love the golf up here. Obviously, I grew up playing all those great golf courses in Westchester um, with my dad at Sleepy Hollow. So I, I'm very familiar with this style of golf, and I like this golf course. So, um, yeah, like I said, just excited to get out there tomorrow and, and see what I can do. Definitely showed out there today. Thank you so much for the time. Congratulations, Cameron. Thank you. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. For more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here.